Hey, Cameron here in the Sea Butters Tech Lab. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you've noticed that I've got a love of 3D printing, VR, batteries, electronics, and small PC form factors. Now, somehow I've come up with an idea that combines all of those items into one single thing, and I'm really pretty excited about it. And that's why I'm here today to show you the Sea Butters Tech. 3D printed VR backpack. Okay, so here it is, the Sea Butters Tech VR 3D printed backpack. And it's uh, it's got quite a few really cool features. Uh, there are there have been attempts for VR backpacks in the past. There you can see several videos from Linus Tech, uh, several other guys on there, but most of them end up having these ginormous backpacks that are really heavy on their backs and they're just way too big in in my opinion for for practicality and anyways uh so when i saw this little beauty here the intel nuc and you see i7 hvk it's uh kind of the brainchild between rivals Intel and AMD so it has an Intel Core i7 chip in there at 4.2 gigahertz boost speed and a Radeon Vega M in there which lets it put up some decent performance figures so a uh, brief brief overview of the VR backpack though it uh, we've got two shoulder straps two torso straps to keep everything nice and tucked in while you're moving around in VR it boasts if you're running this in PC mode, the battery in this thing, <laughs> this is a 20,000 milliamp hour 6S LiPo battery that has 444 watt hours on it. Uh, that's good for when it's acting as just a PC, uh, about 15 hours of battery life. In VR, you're looking at, if you're doing something mundane, such as being in the, the kind of the Windows VR interface, watching a movie, uh, you would get seven hours on this thing and running full-blown most graphics capable games uh, at the highest speeds possible using the most power possible you'd be looking at uh, about three hours so this kind of dwarfs a, a, a lot of things so so why build this well a I put the, all of this together for well, if you don't include the headset, just the backpack piece, uh, less than $1,000. And um, so that's actually one of the cheapest builds I've, I've seen for a VR backpack. The 3D printing is uh, pretty neat. It allows you to create some custom mounts and custom designs on this. And uh, so, yeah, let's, let's start at, at kind of the beginning here. So we talked about the battery. And the power comes up through this cord. We've got some beefy cables here. And these go into a, a buck converter that's capable of handling 20 amps. And now we're not using 20 amps, but uh, the normal power adapter for this piece is 11.8 amps. So it can, it can get up there. So anyways, that required, uh, as in my testing, uh, having a little fan on it so that fans running off of the USB on this machine um, and then the power goes up through this cable and into the PC and it doesn't know any difference it thinks it's plugged into an AC adapter so uh, the other so pretty basic uh, we also have this little uh, guy here this is an alarm that lets you know if the voltage on the battery pack gets too low uh, you can set that uh, manually here. I you know, have it set to 3.7 volts. So if I start hearing that beeping and it's really loud, uh, if that starts beeping, it's time to shut the thing off and recharge the battery. So uh, safety is important, right? And then obviously you have your uh, Samsung cables. Uh, this, this headset is really great for this because it does not require power to the HMD other than what it gets off of the USB uh, cable. So um, the other cool thing is this NUC uh, unit is backed by a VESA mount. So this 
this tacks right onto uh, this blue 3D printed mount um, that uh, allows you to remove this screw and take it off and this piece slides off and you can plug it back into your computer. So you can keep using this as an HTPC and when you want to play some VR wirelessly, just grab this, pop it on the VR backpack and you're good to go. So uh, that's kind of the, the brief overview of the machine. Um, now, one other thing I want to mention is that there are some custom-made backpacks. There's one from MSI and there's one from HP. The problem with those backpacks is they cost about $3,000. So um, anyways, that's just, just a lot. They're, they're actually probably a little more powerful than this, uh, but this VR system is capable of playing. Uh, so far, Beat Saber runs 90 frames per second and uh, it does not do too bad on it on other games as well so it's it's perfectly capable of running VR it's not gonna let you do you know the highest super sampling in the world but it definitely works really really well Side. We've got some vents here. It's mostly just some weight savings and make sure the battery uh, is not that it really needs ventilation there, but uh, just in case uh, we've got that. Uh, we've got these Velcro straps. Uh, also need to mention that all of these clasps are 3D printed. So um, this is not my design. Um, all the blue pieces are my designs, uh, but these clips uh, themselves were someone else's on Thingiverse. I'll put the link down below in the video description because uh, those are really nice. They print without supports and they lock into place actually really well. So these are really nice pieces. And um, so I'm pretty, pretty excited about, about this. Um, one caveat, uh, this battery is probably overkill. Um, if you wanted to do an even lighter 3D printed backpack, you could reduce the height of this and do a battery that's half the size and still get at least uh, an hour and a half of VR gaming time. Um, if, you know, it just depends what your goals are. Uh, I really wanted to have something that you could wear for long periods of time. Uh, completely wireless, you have the mobility that you need, and uh, it's really cool. So. Anyways, uh, this has just been kind of like the demo video of the laptop. And um, if you're interested in the entire build guide, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, subscribe to any updates by hitting that bell because there will be a follow-up video that shows the entire process of building this machine from the ground up. So. If you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. Anyways, 
Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate all the viewership, and we'll see you next time.